Good evening everyone, namaste. My name is Angela, tonight's practice is Vinyasa 1. We'll get started by taking a seat on our mat. If you have two blocks at home, you can prepare them. We'll sit on one of our blocks, just to begin our practice with a moment of meditation. So we'll sit comfortably, resting our hands on our legs, relaxing our shoulders and our face, beginning to turn our attention inside to the way that we're breathing. Notice the flow of your breath. And if it feels natural to create an intention for tonight's practice, take a moment to focus on something that comes naturally when you think about what you'd like to take with you through tonight's practice. It can be something simple like keeping your focus on your breath. Or it can be something more personal, like maybe sending your energy to someone who needs your love. Oh. We'll fold our palms at our heart center, interlock the fingers, begin to extend your arms above your head. Fully stretch your arms as straight as you can, creating length and extension through your spine. On your exhale, slowly bend your body to your right side. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale as you lean to the other side. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, take your hands forward. Turn your fingertips to face the floor. Bring your palms down with your wrists facing forward. Gently press your hands close to the floor. Continue to take slow, deep breaths. And we'll switch directions. Turn your palms to face the ceiling. Now the thumbs are on the inside of the hands. Wrists are still forward. We'll slowly begin to come up. Charlie, you're going to have to move, buddy. Come on to your hands and knees. Place your wrists below your shoulders. Separate your knees as wide as your hips. Begin to extend your right foot back. So your right leg goes back, your left arm extends forward. From here, we'll start to move with our breath. As we exhale, we'll bring the elbow in toward the knee. Inhale, extend forward as you push back through your foot. Second time to exhale. Inhale. Let's do three more times. Linking movement with breath. Two. Last one. This one we're gonna hold with option one, keeping the leg straight. Option two, bring the back foot close to the body. Lift your right knee a little bit higher. If this is easy to balance, you can try option three, reaching back with your left hand to take the inside of your right ankle. Gently kick back into your foot. We'll hold for three more deep breaths. Two. And slowly release, we'll change legs. Left foot back, right hand forward. Hold here. Once you find your balance, begin to exhale, moving elbow in. Inhale, extend. Second time, exhale, inhale, three more times, two, last one, this one we hold, option one, option two, bend the back knee, option three, reach back, take your time, find your balance. We'll hold for three more breaths. Two. Slowly release. Come into downward facing dog. Looking toward the feet. Separate the feet as wide as the hips. Spread the fingers. Palms flat to the floor. Looking toward the feet. Keep the neck relaxed. Prepare for our first 
first vinyasa on our inhale, we'll come forward taking a high plank position. Align your shoulders above your wrists. On your exhale, you can lower your knees or you can come to the floor with straight legs. Bring your chest all the way down. Point the toes, push the hands into the floor, roll the shoulders down the back. Draw the shoulder blades together. On the exhale, return to dog pose. Five slow breaths. Exhale, 
We'll bend both of the knees, sitting down into chair pose. Inhale, arms to the ears. Strong, straight arms. Palms turn to face it. Upper back is working hard to extend the arms straighter. Bring both palms together. On the exhale, we'll bring our left elbow to the outside of the right leg. Come to a prayer twist. Keep turning your chest towards your thumbs. Okay, this is challenging, so take your time. Keep your twist, but free your left foot to step back. So take your time as you move your left foot back. Then straighten the left leg, find your balance, and continue to turn. We'll hold for three, two, both hands to the floor, step back to a one-legged plank. Option is to come down, one leg chaturanga or two leg chaturanga. Exhale to lower, inhale up dog or cobra. Exhale down dog. Five breaths. Prepare again, step or float forward to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold with feet together. Bend both of the knees, sit back, chair pose. Inhale, arms to the ears. Deep breaths for five. Prepare to twist by joining palms together, exhaling right elbow to the outside of the left leg. Begin to turn your chest, deep breaths into the belly. Look towards the floor in front of your feet and see if you can begin to move your right foot back, keeping the twist. Balancing on the ball of the back foot, continue to turn, we'll hold a few more breaths. When you're ready to release, place the palms to the floor, step back into a one or two legged plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, dog pose. This time we'll join our feet together, staying in down dog, but letting the feet touch. On the inhale, send your right leg up, come to dog split. On the exhale, bend the right knee, send it forward to touch the right arm. Push down through the hands, reach back up through the right toes, dog split. This time we cross, right knee to left elbow. Inhale to extend up through the leg. Four more sets. Exhale, rounding into the upper back as you come forward. Exhale, cross. Three more sets. Moving with the speed of your own breath. Okay, last one. Exhaling forward. Inhale, extend through a straight leg. And exhale, cross. Hold dog split. Lift your left heel up as high as you can off of the floor. Step the right foot forward. Quietly set it between the hands. Bring the left knee down to the floor. Inhale, set the arms above the head. Interlace the fingers. Strong, straight arms. Low lunge position with a slight back bend. If it feels natural to take the back bend deeper, you'll keep your right arm next to your ear. Send your left hand behind your knee. You can walk your fingertips down towards your heel. You can even go more into the shape. We'll hold for three more breaths. Two. Inhale, extend the left arm to the ear. Place your right hand to the outside of your right leg. Exhale, cross, hook the elbow, press your palms, curl the back toes under, and slowly begin to straighten the leg. Come back to twist. This is option one. Option two, see if your left fingertips can touch the floor. Right hand up for three. Two. Return both palms down, step back into a one or two legged plank. Exhale to lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. 
Exhale, down dog. Five slow breaths.
vinyasa. Join the feet together in downward dog. Okay, we'll work on wild things. So extend first the right leg up. This is a little bit of a transition, so it's a little tricky. See if you can follow. The right leg is extended up into dog split. And we'll bend the right knee, bring it forward toward the chest. Wrap your right leg in front of your left leg, similar to eagle pose, so the legs cross. Don't move your right hand, but come to a side plank so the right arm stays straight. Left arm goes up to the ceiling. From here, circle your left hand back to the floor. Go to wild thing by releasing your right leg behind your left leg. Left leg is straight, but right knee is bent. Turn the chest open to the ceiling. Take a few more breaths. Relax the neck. When you're ready to return, go back to a one-legged plank. Right hand to the floor. One or two leg chaturanga on the exhale. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Deep breaths. Prepare to step or jump to the top. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, begin to stand, extend the arms. Exhale, hands back to the heart center, open the feet at distance. Hands behind the back, fingers interlaced. Arms stretch straight, palms squeeze in. On the exhale, begin to forward fold. If the shoulders feel tight, you can bless, uh, release your hands back to the floor or place a towel between the hands. Hold for three. Two. And release your hands down, step the left foot back, we'll go to half splits on the other side. Left knee to the floor, straightening the right leg. Holding here with blocks or with fingertips on the ground. Extend the back as straight as you can. Walk forward as far as you can. We'll hold for five. Facing dog. Vinyasa. Okay, let's do the same transition on the other leg. Feet together, left leg up, dog split. Bend the left knee, bring it forward, wrap it over the right leg. We'll go to side plank, so don't move your left hand. Take your right hand up to the ceiling. And right hand goes back to the floor where it was. Left foot steps behind right leg. Turn the chest open to the ceiling. Stretch the left hand forward. Right leg is straight. Holding for three. Two. Return slowly. One leg plank. One or two leg chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Deep breaths. When you're ready, prepare to step or float to the top. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, rise up, stretch the arms, look toward the hands. This time, hold with your arms up, interlock your fingers. Keep your feet together as you stretch your palms to the ceiling. We're going to work through a few balance poses, so keep the arms straight. I'll show you from the front. So arms are next to the ears, feet are together. We'll lift our heels so that we start to balance. As we lift our heels, we engage the core, scoop the tailbone down, hug the ribs back slightly. Deep breaths. And then we're going to exhale, bring our heels back to the floor, send your arms forward, just change the way you've 
interlace your fingers, so interlock the other way. Push forward, inhale, stretch the arms. Second time, same pose, lift the heels slowly. If it's easy to balance, lift your heels as high as you can. Continue to stretch a straight line through your body. Holding a few more breaths. Bring your heels down to the floor, release your arms open. We'll bring our right arm over our left arm. So we'll take ego arms. Wrap your forearms, touch your palms together. Bend both of the knees so that you're sitting back, similar to chair pose. Then take the left leg over the right leg, crossing the legs. Toes can touch the floor or a foot can be lifted. If you have enough mobility in the joints, bring your foot behind your standing leg. And if it feels comfortable and you want to challenge your balance, sink a little bit lower, but keep your back straight as you lower the elbows near the knees. We'll stay for three. Two. And when you're ready to come out of the pose, you'll come up slowly, releasing your legs first, circling your arms down. Inhale as you bring your hands up over your head. Exhale, circle the arms. This time we'll go left arm over right arm. Wrap the arms, bend the knees, sit back. Right leg over left leg. Cross the legs. Lift the elbows away from the chest. Hold here or sink a little bit lower. Three more deep breaths. Two. When you're ready to return, slowly come up. Releasing the legs. Circle the arms down, inhale, draw the arms above the head. Exhale, forward fold, bring the hands down to the floor. Separate the feet as wide as the hips. Option one, to hold the elbows, relaxing the back of the neck. Option two, middle finger and index finger wrap around the inner edge of the big toe. You can reach your feet, you're gonna hold on to your toes. As you exhale, you'll begin to fold. Bending the elbows out to the side, folding as deep as you can over the legs. Back of the neck, stay soft. Five more breaths. Shoulders lift away from the ears. Let's hold for two more. Release your hands. Open your feet a little bit wider. We'll come down to a squatted position. So bend the knees, sink down, hips close to the floor. Take your palms together with your shoulders inside of your knees. So the arms are, we're in a squatting position, but you'll have your arms inside of your knees. And this is very important because we're gonna work toward an arm balance. But before we start our arm balance, we'll open the knees and the elbows as wide as we can. Move the chest forward toward the thumbs. Take a few more breaths. Hi everyone, hello. Okay, we'll move into our arm balance next. So this one is a little bit tricky. Uh, I, I think it's not so difficult if you can follow the simple instruction. Okay, make sure that the knees are on the outside of the arms. Okay, your palms are going to be to the floor. The knees go around the upper arms, so not below the elbows, above the elbows. Your hands are only as wide as your shoulders, so not less, but the same as shoulder distance. Okay, your hands will go to the floor. The knees go above the elbows. Lift onto the top of your tiptoes and lift your hips. Look forward, leaning forward. See if you can rock forward for a brief moment. Looking forward, leaning forward. Grip the floor with your fingertips as you lean. See if you can take one or two feet off the floor. If it's easy to do that, squeeze the inner edges of your feet together, lift your heels closer to your hips. Keep using your fingers to find balance. When you get tired, just come down, feet to the floor. Let's do a few more. 
more. Let's take the next one a little closer to the top of the mat. Okay, feet stay to the floor, hands separated, shoulder distance, knees up above the elbows, looking forward as you lean forward. Grip the floor as you rock forward. When you're ready to come down, you'll bring your feet lightly to the mat. Okay, the last one we'll do at the very front of the mat. For those of you that are feeling that the feet are going up, we're going to practice jumping back and working our way through a vinyasa. Okay, so the knees have to be high. Look forward, lean forward, rock forward. If you're able to fly with the feet up, you're going to exhale, hop back, inhale, go to up dog, exhale as you come back to down dog. Let's take a few breaths. We'll try this again. Okay, so from down dog, you can step or hop to the top of your mat. Find crow pose one last time. Spread the fingers, squeeze the floor. Hold crow pose or make your way through a vinyasa. Let's all meet back in dog pose. Change sides, left knee to left elbow. Step back. Okay, let's do four more. Right knee forward, then left knee. Right side, three. Left side, three. Right side, four. Left side, four. Last one on the right, and then last one on the left. Once you finish, lift your hips, come back into dog pose for a few breaths. Great job, guys. Not easy stuff. Thanks for staying with me. When you're ready to flow, make your way through another vinyasa.
to go on to second option or a second variation which will be a little bit more advanced for this one we'll bend both of the knees reach back for the outsides of your ankles flex your feet so your toes face back keep your knees separated hip distance on your exhale begin to kick the strength of your legs into your hands so your ankles kick back into the palms kick strong again see if your thighs can go off the floor We'll hold for three, two, keep kicking, and slowly come down, release, take a rest. One more, same pose, bend both of the knees. Reach back for the ankles, point the toes. When you're ready, exhale, begin to kick back into bow pose. Strong legs to open the chest and shoulders. Kicking for five. You can look forward if it's comfortable to kick, send your gaze upward. Four. Three. into child's pose, palms to the floor. Come onto the knees, move your hips back over your heels. And extend your arms. Stay seated for a few moments so the chest is lifted. When you're ready, 
to forward fold, you'll walk your hands forward, bringing your upper body close to the floor. to rise up. Okay, we'll bring our back foot in so the left leg bends, left hand circles back to catch the inside of the foot. From here, see if you can bring your heel a little closer to your body. Keep balance with your right hand to the floor. If you're able to take this pose deeper, you're going to slide the toes into the elbow. You can balance, you'll lift up your back arm and reach back with your right hand. Connecting the hands, turning the chest forward, we'll stay for a few more breaths. Slowly release the hand, step back into downward dog. This time shift weight from heel to heel. Let go of any tension from your hips and legs. When you're ready to make your way, go through your next vinyasa, inhaling forward, exhaling down. Inhale up dog or cobra, exhale down dog. Together, left leg up, dog split. On the exhale, left knee forward for pigeon pose. Be mindful of where you place your knee. Place your knee is slightly wider than the outer edge of your left hip. You can move your foot forward to feel a deeper stretch. Back leg is turned under, taking a few breaths. When you're ready to fold, begin to slowly bring the upper body down. Three, 
two, cross the shins, hug the knees into the body. Take a few breaths. We're gonna do this one three times. We have two more. Okay, option one, support the legs, keep the back straight. Option two, straight arms. Option three, full pose. Hug the legs in, keep the chest high for five. Great job. Bend the knees, cross the legs. Deep breaths. Okay, last one, guys. When you're ready, option one, two, or three. Let's stay a little bit longer. We'll try to hold five more. Four. Three, two, cross the legs, hug the knees, breathe. From here, we'll extend our legs straight, stay seated, feet together at the front of your mat. Extend your arms next to your ears. As you exhale, you're going to round the upper back, setting the hands forward. Begin to lower so that you're halfway to the floor. From here, see if you can take your right foot up. So from your core all the way to your toes, stretch a straight line. Ribs hug back, fingers stretch forward. Deep breaths, if it feels light, take your left foot one inch above the ground, hug your feet in closer to the center of your mat. We'll lower the feet slowly, inhale, stretch the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Hold over the legs for five more breaths. I think my dog is hungry. He keeps coming over here. You want dinner, I know, I know, I know, soon. Let's go for the second one. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale, lean back. This time we'll do left leg up, straight leg. Chest is here, knee comes closer to chest. Right foot lifts, squeeze your legs in. Find your balance. Engage the core for three, two. Feet down, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Last one, inhale, extend the arms. This time, exhale, lean back. We'll take two feet up. Just elevate your feet a few inches. So stay in a low boat position. Belly hugs down, ribs draw back, fingers stretch forward. Holding for three, two, feet lower, arms up. Last time to forward bend, exhale, reach for the outer edges of the feet. Soften into the shape by using your breath. Deep breaths. We'll finish our practice lying on our backs so you can come out of your pose slowly. Bend the knees. If you have a block, bring one to the floor with you. We're going to place our block underneath the hips. So as your knees bend, your hips go up. Slide your block. Place your block so that it's comfortably resting underneath your pelvis. And from here, you can relax your arms. Just take a moment to recharge the body by taking deep breaths. So tonight we've done a lot of back bends. We'll do a few more before we close our practice. So for the first 
back bend, we'll work on bridge pose. For bridge pose, the shape is similar to what we're in now with the block underneath the hips. We'll slide our block out, bring our heels close to the body, open the feet hip distance and reach down for the heels. So the fingers reach for the ankles, hips go up. As your hips move as high as they can away from the floor, see if you can walk your shoulders away from your ears. That allows you to bring your shoulder blades a little closer together. And if it's possible, interlace the fingers and bring your palms together. Squeeze the knees in as you walk your shoulders a few more millimeters away from the ears. Keep your legs strong. And if it's possible, press your feet down so that your chest moves into the direction of your chin. So chest pushes to chin. When you're ready to come down, release your hands, bring your hips to the floor. We're going to do a few more back bends before we go to Shavasana. And then we'll get you some dinner. Okay, so bridge pose is the easier variation. For those of you that are working on back bends that are deeper, we'll bring our palms next to the sides of the shoulders. Okay, so for Urdhvadhanurasana, I suggest starting by coming to the top of the head, lifting the heels and relaxing the shoulders. If your shoulders are relaxed enough, you may be able to press away from the floor. Okay, even if your arms aren't straight, you're still doing the work, so do the best you can. We'll try to stay in wheel pose for a few more breaths. Keep your neck relaxed. You can look up, you can look down, whatever feels comfortable. And when you're ready to lower, bend the elbows slowly. Come all the way down. This time we'll bring our knees to our chest, hugging our legs. Rocking our legs from side to side. And one last back bend, bridge or wheel. Heels in front of the hips, lifting for bridge. Keep the shoulders down. If you're working on wheel, bring your palms next to your shoulders, fingertips facing downward, lifting up and seeing if you can hold for five breaths. Internally rotate the thighs, press the chest to the back of the mats. Using the strength of your legs to open the chest. Three more breaths. Two. Slowly, carefully, return. Knees to chest. This time we'll take happy baby pose. So as you keep your knees bent, bring your arms to the insides of your legs. Reach for the outsides of your feet. Let the soles of the feet face the ceiling as you feel a deep stretch moving into your hips. Head is down, shoulders are down. Close the eyes and just turn your attention inward to your breathing. And release your feet. Turn your knees to your right side for a twist. Keep the knees to the chest as you slowly turn to the right side. Relax. The right hand on top of the left knee. If you prefer to cross your legs in eagle, left leg crosses over right leg. Shoulders stay close to the floor. Slow deep breaths.
slowly change sides. And cross your legs again, or just keep your legs together. Lift your hips and turn on to the outer edge of your left hip. before we enter Shavasana. Unwind your twist slowly, straighten your legs, separate your feet as wide as your mat, let your palms turn to the ceiling. Just take a few moments to relax the entire body. to wall extension, drawing the feet together, and then both the knees turn on to one side of your body, resting for a few moments. And then slowly make your way back to a seated position. We'll finish our practice the way we started, seated cross-legged the hands back to the legs, closing the eyes and turning our attention back to our breath. If you created an intention for this evening's practice, just check in with the intention.